Hello everyone, I'm now inside of our energy storage system container. Introducing this 500 kilowatts 1 megawatt hour system. It's mainly composed of three parts, battery compartment, monitoring room and electrical compartment. In the monitoring room here we can check status of the system. The EMS system showing battery status discharging now. Because we charge the batteries during night time, use in the day. Cut peaks and fill valleys, reduce electricity costs. From the PECS system, there's alarm monitoring function, alarming when abnormal situation happens. Also we can see the DC voltage, DC current and DC power. Next BMS running data and detail parameters. The BMS includes BMU, BCM unit, BAMS display, and control unit. The rest parts are Alarm, BAS, data report, data analysis, control. Real-time collection and monitoring of information and health status during the operation of the energy storage system. This part is the electrical part, EMS, for monitoring and controlling the status of the energy storage systems. Can be distributed according to the project situation. Can be connect flexibly to various protocols. The controller adopts industrial grade design and the system reliability is high. The operating life of the core device can reach more than 10 years. Let's go check the next room. This is the power conversion system PCS. It can control the charging and discharging process of the battery. Carry out AC-DC conversion and can directly supply power to the AC load when there is no power grid. Adopt one set of 500 kW system. It can be charged and discharged with constant current and constant power, and supports three-stage charging. There's different switch for controlling the systems. Here's the specifications of it. It ensures the safe operation of the battery. Let's go to the battery compartment. 1000 kWh lithium iron phosphate battery. As you can see there are many battery packs connect in series to make the power supply of the entire system. Each battery pack is 51.2 volts 200 ampere hour. 12 battery packs in series to form a battery cluster. And there are 8 battery clusters in total. Below is the high voltage control box. When the short term power consumption is greater than the capacity of the transformer, the energy storage system will perform rapid discharge. When the power is interrupted, it can provide uninterrupted short-term power supply for important loads to reduce the economic loss. The entire container is equipped with two cabinet type air conditioners with a cooling capacity of 7.5 kilowatts, and the top air duct is adopted to realize the temperature control so that the battery runs stably at a suitable temperature. Since the energy storage system is unattended, a set of manual and automatic integrated firefighting system is adopted in the battery compartment. It is composed of fire alarm controller, gas detector, manual emergency button, fire extinguishing device, etc. 